Hello, I'm Dane, and this is Dan Explains. Have you ever wondered if God exists? Why he doesn't just show himself? Why doesn't he just show up like, yep, I'm real, now quit doubting that I exist? Well, there's really a good reason for why God doesn't do this. Let me explain. Scientists are often atheists because they don't like to believe in things that can't hold up to the scientific method. Where you propose a theory, devise a test to either prove or disprove it, and then perform the test to discover the result. They don't like things which are called non-falsifiable. If someone makes a claim or has a theory that can't be tested, scientists prefer to not believe it. I mean, there is a pretty good reason for that. If someone claims you won't die or get hurt when you jump into a dark pit, but provides no evidence that that's the case. Obviously, you're not going to want to jump into the dark hole to find out. So, why would God not provide scientifically testable evidence? And before you say, God does in the form of miracles, there's an explanation for miracles I'll get to in a minute. The central reason for God not providing us with physical evidence is love. Consider angels and demons. They were created in the presence of God. At which point, they were given a choice to either accept God and remain an angel, or reject God and become a demon. It's said that two-thirds of the angels decided to remain angels, and only one-third rejected God. But that should have been a fairly easy choice for them to make. God was sitting right there in front of them. They were in his presence, so he was an undeniable fact, making the choice a clear-cut one. Two humans had that same privilege, Adam and Eve. and they chose badly. Almost all of the rest, because we are descended from them, no longer have the privilege. We are created without the innate knowledge of God's existence. This makes us finding and accepting God a much more meaningful decision than it otherwise would have been. Consider the relationship between parents and children versus the relationship of a husband and wife. Like angels and God, children are created by their parents in their parents' presence. They can eventually choose to reject their parents but the choice to not reject their parents is usually obvious. Contrast this to a young couple. They don't start out knowing each other even exist. They have to discover each other, fall in love, and then choose to be together. This is arguably a more meaningful relationship. We have to marry into God's family rather than be born into it like the angels. In fact, the Bible is full of analogies of Jesus Christ being the groom and the church being the bride. This marital-like relationship we have with Jesus, and in turn God the Father, is why theologians have described Adam and Eve's fall as a happy fault. Because it gives us the opportunity to experience a type of love with God through Jesus we wouldn't have otherwise had. This of course has consequences, which is the no evidence for God part. The only way we can know God and be with God is Jesus. Hence why Jesus is described as the gateway and that nothing can enter heaven without going through it. So if there were another way to know God, like through scientific proofs, it would cheapen the marital nature of our relationship with Jesus. Because of that, God requires us to have faith in him rather than just direct knowledge of his existence, like the angels and demons have. There are even indications of this in the Gospels. For instance, in Mark 6, it mentions that Jesus couldn't perform miracles in Nazareth because of the lack of faith of its people. Jesus' ability to work miracles was, of course, only based on his own faith, which was perfect. So, that means he couldn't perform miracles there because he didn't want to give the people proof. In fact, there are many places where Jesus had to heal in front of people who had little faith. But he would perform miracles in a way that would just make it seem plausible to the faithless that no miracles were performed. This is also the reason why miracles aren't scientifically testable proof of God. The number and types of miracles don't exceed the threshold of plausible deniability, like outliers in the study that can be dismissed. Also, the vast majority of the time, people who have little faith either don't see the miracle or coincidentally not around when the miracle happens. So miracles don't provide any effective scientific proof. This, of course, doesn't mean that God's existence can't be deduced logically by non-scientific means. But that's a story for another video. Thank you for watching. If you like this video and other topics ranging from theology to science, please press the like button. 
subscribe to my channel, and ding the bell to get notified when I post new videos. Also, please support me on Patreon to get extra content and special perks. Link in the description. The more people support me, the more time I can dedicate to making videos like this one. So, until next time, have a great week. Thank you.